Hey, what's up YouTube? This is going to be a video on how to scrape your artwork. I recently made a video about how to add ROMs to your images. And uh, here's how to add the artwork, not only an emulation station, or if you're also running uh, in a track mode, how to do that. We're going to start with emulation station and then move into a track mode. So do you want to get the artwork and you're in uh, emulation station, just select the select button and you can just go down here all the way to the bottom and hit scrape. It'll go ahead and look online as long as you're connected to the internet and uh, look at, say like, oh, these games look about right. And then uh, there you go, Castlevania. And uh, you'll just go in, press select. Then you're gonna press um, all the way down to scrape. Go ahead and press save, scrape, and make sure you save it. If you don't save it, uh, it will not stay that way. You'll have to do it again. So there we go, input, save. And then before you know it, you'll have all your artwork there in Emulation Station. Uh, the other thing is uh, Nintendo DS just came out. And as you can see, I uh, was playing Mario. But uh, I have my box art. Just scraped it right up. Found it no problem. Yeah, see that? Universal XML Scraper Fatal Error. The Universal XML Scraper 64. And... Uh, a couple people brought it to my attention to try this for for scraping things, and um, it's it's not working. Okay, now we're going to switch over to a track mode, how to get the actual art files and then load them up, because otherwise you're going to have question marks in your track mode. All right, what's up, YouTube? This is how you're going to get your files and how you're going to get it all working and everything else. First, you need to actually get uh, what you're looking for. So you're looking for artwork and videos we want to get in uh, track mode we want to have the artwork on the wheel and we also want to have the snap video so what you want to do is go ahead and click under here category let's go ahead and go to councils and then we're going to go down to uh we're going to do sony playstation because i recently added uh worms world party and we're just going to do that one for an example all the rest of the game should be a similar process we'll go ahead and click that and uh, this is in alphabetical order so the w's are going to be in pack eight and like the, the games that start with an A are going to be in pack one. So I needed Worms World Party. So I click this. You do need to register for this um, website, but it is free. Go ahead and say, yeah, I agree. And uh, you're just going to go down to get to Worms World Party. And then uh, I already downloaded it, but I'm just showing you that uh, once you find it, Worms World Party, you hit download about 1.11 megabytes. And then the other one was also just press back once. And when we get back to the videos, below the videos, as you scroll down, when you get past pack one, you'll see that under artwork, you have the logo pack. And the logo pack is what you want to download. And I've already downloaded that as well, the PlayStation logo pack. So this is the logo pack here. As you can see, it has all the logos for all the games. But again, we just want Worms World Party. Here it is here on my screen. So I have the, I have the wheel art, and I have the video. As you can see, I just play it on my computer. Right? So there's that. There's this. Now we um, connect to our Pi. Go ahead and go to your network. Go to Raspberry Pi. So now I'm connected into my Raspberry Pi. It's currently on right now. I'm just going to go down to PlayStation PSX. And uh, you can see the ROM for Worms World Party is here. We want to go ahead and click into that. And uh, maybe you want to rename it if you want. Uh, just make sure you rename all the files related to it. But uh, just for simplicity, I'm just going to keep the whole name here. I'm going to go ahead and copy. And now we want to put the um, artwork in wheel. So wheel, Worms World Party, drop it. Right, we have it in there. But this, remember we need to paste in the name of the ROM. The ROM and the artwork have to match same name. Uh, now we go back and then snap. And this is where the actual video file goes. As you can see, I downloaded the video file, drop it in there. So here we are in a track mode, Castlevania, Colin McRae. As you know, this game does not come with Ray's image. And that video file and the logo file worked perfectly. So that's how you add the correct artwork and the correct video files. And you just load the game when you press the right buttons and there you go. You can now add games and artwork and have it look as if it came with the image.
and it works great. I hope you liked this video. If you could please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions, comment below, and we'll see you guys next time.